Hello everyone. In this video, I will be showing how to mesh a multi-point fuel injector. The STL surfaces are already imported into the UI. The goal of the video is to mesh one of the nozzle sections as a periodic topology. The injector is defined by sac, needle, nozzles and an outer shell. The geometry is periodic about the y-axis. To create a periodic topology, we need to define a periodic surface with respect to y-axis, which is already created for this case. Having defined all the surfaces, we will start with the topology creation. The problem approach would be to create the topology for the injector sac, needle and outer shell first and then create the topology for the nozzle. The cross-section of the injector remains the same except at the nozzle inlet region. So the 2D faces can be created for a section and then rotated to form 3D blocks. The faces are being created in the fluid passage that is between the sac and the needle. The geometry has fine nozzles which makes the periodicity as 72 degrees. To rotate the topology for the desired angle, we will be using the rotate faces option in the edit section. All the topology operations in the UI can only be executed after adding a corners to a corner group. Hence the first step would be to add the 2D faces to a corner group. The corners are being grouped in C1. Rotate option helps in rotating the given corners and surfaces. It is further classified into two sub options, groups and faces. In this video we restrict the focus to the faces option. These are the inputs necessary to execute the operation. Input corner group is C1. Max angle is the maximum angle to which the topology is to be rotated from the current position, which is the periodicity in this case. The number of instances option gives us the flexibility to specify the number of similar sheets required along the angle rotated. The periodicity in the sac region forces us to have a Y-shaped block. Three sheets are required to create one, so the number of additional sheets are two, hence three number of instances are required in total. And the rotation axis is Y. The periodic structure would be a Y-shaped structure at the middle of the sac region. This is the existing structure of the wireframe and this would be the desired structure for this periodic case with one corner at the center being common to both the periodic boundaries. This structure can be created by copying these corners without links and link these manually. These are the steps to be followed to copy the wireframe. Firstly grouping these corners in group C2 then group fitting the work plane to the group corners repositioning the work plane to the desired location selecting the no links option under copy button finally linking the corners to create the desired periodic structure Now the nozzle in the periodic section has to be addressed by creating blocks and extruding along the length of it. So we split the existing blocks around the nozzle using insert option. Then block faces which define the nozzle are grouped in C3. The faces have to be copied to the nozzle outlet to form blocks. Group fitting the work plane to the selected faces using fit1 option. Then moving the work plane to the nozzle outlet by dragging the handle of the work plane.
Selecting copy with links option under copy dialog box. Now that the basic wireframe is created, we will move to the next step, which is assigning faces to the surfaces. We will start assigning the periodic boundaries first. The faces represented by corners at the either ends of the periodic region are to be assigned. So these corners are grouped in C4 and C5. To assign these two sets of faces as periodic, the period button should be selected and each group should be selected individually by highlighting and assigning them by right click plus drop box option. Scroll through the surfaces using scroll option until the current surface is the outer shell. Select the faces corresponding to the outer shell and the nozzle. Selection keys like A key on the keyboard can be used for quick selection of faces. To do that first select an edge or a few corners which includes the desired corners. Next hold the A key in the keyboard and click on an edge close to the corner which represents the desired sheet. A key can also be used in combination with adding and subtracting faces to existing groups. Wrap the grouped corners by 0.5% to create an overgrid structure. The wrapped sheet is then assigned to the outer shell. Scroll through the surface until the current surface is nozzle and assign the respective corners to the nozzle. Similarly, scroll through the surfaces to nozzle outlet and assign the respective corners to it. Similarly, scrolling to the needle surface and grouping the faces which define the needle. The selected faces are then assigned to the needle. Similarly, scrolling through the surfaces to the inlet and assigning the respective corners to it. All the surfaces are addressed. Let's check the validity of the topology. As you can see, the topology has smiley severe singularity at the nozzle inlet, which can be resolved using an internal surface. The smiley severe singularity will be discussed later in a different video. The internal surface is already created which is not shown in this video and so I am loading the surface directly into the UI. Since the grid is recovered on both the normal sides of the surface, the orientation of the internal surface has to be changed to two-sided. This can be done by selecting the option two-sided from the right click menu of the surface. Note that the orientation can only be changed for the current surface. Grouping and assigning the faces which define the internal surface at the nozzle inlet. The topology has mediumly severe singularity which can be resolved by an internal wrap on the assigned corners. So wrapping the assigned corners grouped in C2. The internal wrap function wraps the given corners and output a valid topology by reassigning the corners appropriately. The topology is now valid without any singularities.
Next, splitting the longer blocks into smaller blocks in order to make the gridding process faster. Multi-insert splits the selected edge into equal lengths based on the given number of inserts. The default density of an edge is 8 and not all the block edges are of same lengths. So changing the density of those edges will output a smooth transition grid. This is a trial and error operation. You may not get the right density at first try. Check the grid once and re-modify the densities as desired for the next trial. Let's start the gridding process. It can be monitored from the UI or from the command terminal. For any periodic topology, this message is the key to determine the convergence of the grid. Next comes the volume folds. As it is converged now, let's load the grid into the UI. Creating the boundary grid sheets using faces button. As you can see, the grid points are smoothly positioned everywhere and sharp features are also captured correctly. Stopping the gridding process since the desired grid is obtained. Before we wind up, Let's check the quality parameters also. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.